Welcome to this tour of Glam's Castle. It is located near the village of Glam's in Angus, Scotland. This was our first trip to the castle, and needless to say, we were pretty blown away as we were driving down the drive towards the castle. It looks like a castle that popped right out of the pages of a fairy tale. The grounds and castle have been part of the Lyon family since the early 14th century. Glam's Castle was also the childhood home of Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother. It was also the birthplace of her second daughter, Princess Margaret. The castle as you see it today was mostly built in the 17th century. After you arrive, you'll park on the back side of the castle, located near the gift shop. Definitely feel free to go inside and look around. There's two levels. This is the upper level of the gift shop. We purchased some really nice Scottish gin while we were there. Just inside the castle, you'll find a scale model of the castle in its entirety. Around the corner from the model is the Glam's Castle Kitchen. The restaurant is open for morning coffee, lunch, and afternoon tea. They have a nice menu featuring bakery items, hamburgers, pasta, and also some sandwiches. When we were there, the castle was extremely chilly, so sitting next to the stove really helped. Our first stop on the self-guided tour of the castle was the dining room. The room is surrounded by oak paneling and a very detailed ceiling up above. The castle is still very much a family home, as the family still uses this castle. Visitors to the castle will get a little peek into the life of the Lion family. The centerpiece of the dining room table is a sterling silver sailing ship. When fully extended, the dining room table can seat up to 40 people. After you tour the beautiful dining room and look at all of the details of this room, you'll then go into the crypt. The crypt is actually a barrel vaulted room, which is in one of the medieval sections of the castle. Originally, this would have been a lower hall, or a place where the family met with the visitors. There are a lot of relics and things you would typically expect to see in castles in this room. At the end of the room, you'll see a rope that separates one section of the room from the other. It actually serves as a guide to kind of move you through the tour of the castle, and eventually you'll end up on the other side of that rope. This is a view looking back to the dining room from where we just came. When you go down the stairs from the crypt, you'll go to the main entrance of the entire castle. Seems rather small for such a big castle. As you ascend the spiral staircase, you'll go up 143 steps to the drawing room. This huge vaulted room was once the great hall of the medieval castle. It is 60 feet long by 22 feet wide. It is definitely one of the main highlights of the entire tour. When finished, you'll go through the double doors on the left and go into the private chapel. The chapel is known today as St. Michael's and All Angels Episcopal Church. It is a completely private chapel to the Earl of Strathmore. As you leave the chapel, you'll enter the billiard room, which was built between 1773 and 1776. It is located directly above the kitchen. It also features the remnants of what was once a very extensive library in Glam's Castle. It looks like a great place to play a game of billiards, as long as the fireplace is going, because this entire castle is extremely cold. The next room we entered was King Malcolm's room. King Malcolm II was reputed to have been murdered in this castle. Supposedly, there are bloodstains on the floor somewhere to prove this claim. After we depart King Malcolm's room, we head to tour the royal apartments. The apartments were originally prepared for the use of the Duke of York and Lady Elizabeth Bowes Lyon. From the apartment, we go into the royal bedroom. After the royal bedroom, we go to what's called the King's Room. From the royal apartments, we'll enter the medieval section of the castle again, where we're going to descend into its medieval roots in the bowels of the castle.
At the bottom of the stairs, you will find Duncan's Hall. This was most likely a guard room in the original castle. Comes complete with a bear whose fur seems to have been rubbed off of his nose. Lastly, we end the tour in the Glam's Gallery. Here you'll be able to explore some of the history of the family that has lived here for centuries. You'll also see what is considered the oldest surviving tartan in Scotland, which is rumored to belong to Bonnie Prince Charlie. You will see numerous royal invitations that the Lyon family has received over the course of the years. Here is one from Prince Charles and Camilla Parker Bowles. Here is the invitation to the wedding of Prince William and Catherine Middleton. Here is a letter written by Queen Elizabeth, as well as a handwritten note. Here is the invitation to the wedding of Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson. In addition to the castle, you have the opportunity to explore the grounds. As you make your way to the gardens, you'll come across some tombstones. Now, these are not tombstones of family members. This is the Pet Cemetery. The cemetery features pets from 1933 all the way up to 1997. As a guest and visitor, you're free to walk the grounds and tour all of the different gardens. Our first stop was the Italian gardens. You can definitely see that these gardens are beautiful. However, I'm sure they are much better in the spring and the summer. Being that Princess Margaret was born in the castle, they've erected a memorial to honor her and her death. Glam's Castle is probably the most famous for being the setting of Shakespeare's play Macbeth. While it was a setting for the play, there is no real connection between the historical figure of King Macbeth and the castle. Even so, you'll find very detailed wood carvings of all the characters of Macbeth on the property. Here's just a few of the statues that I found as we walk through the property. Next stop on the property is the Walled Garden. The garden fell into disuse, however, in 2015, they started a major redevelopment with new flower beds and water features. Once again, I would imagine this would be much more breathtaking during the spring or the summer. Walled Garden was our last stop on this wonderful tour of Glam's Castle. Be prepared for a lot of walking if you do want to tour the grounds, as I believe there's over 14,000 acres in all. We hope you enjoyed this little tour as much as we did while we were there. 
If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button and please think about subscribing to our channel. If you're interested in seeing other sites in Scotland, be sure to stay till the end of the video and click on the Scotland playlist. Thank you and appreciate your time.